I've seen many influencers reviewing the Baojun Yep, and I have to say it's got a fresh, modern, adorable look that catches my eye, so I have one here to check out today. There are already many reviews on the advantages of this car, so today I'm going to review some of the features and shortcomings. I'm May, and welcome to EV Now. <music> I'll put some of the specs on the screen above and we'll dive right into the review. First things first, I'm going to acknowledge just how adorable this car is and the front headlights even resemble the tiles in the game of Mahjong. Now, the upper part of the car looks amazing, but as you tilt your gaze down just a little bit, you see kind of the tires. This area makes the tires look very small and makes the whole car look just a little bit cheap. Many are saying this car is the smaller version of the Suzuki Jimny. Now, I agree with half of that statement, but I do think that the Jimny is, in general, a more well-thought-out design. And this car, I'm not so sure. Now, the upper half of the car doesn't really match the bottom half of the car. I think if you switched out the wheels for some bigger wheels, the whole car in style would look better. So as we reach the side of the car is one of my big issues with this car. This footboard, it's just in a really awkward height. And sometimes you can really hit your calf or your shin on the footboard. It was raining yesterday and I'll show you with some water here. Once the rain came on the footboard, my foot gets, a, it just slips right off. If you put your foot, it's so slippery. So as I get in and out of the car, this footboard always gets in my way. It either hits my shins or it hits my ankles. It's just not in the right place. Getting in and out of the car is really a pain. I keep hitting my calves. It's like a calf workout. This footboard is a really great decoration, but it kind of gets in the way instead of being useful. So let's talk about the inside comfort of this car. Now, first of all, I want to talk about this car seat because my ideal car seat is something soft and something that just makes me feel at ease after a tired day of work. But this angle of this car seat just makes me feel like I'm sitting on a bench in a park, maybe with a little cushion. If I was in a traffic jam for an hour or so, this seat would make me pretty fatigued and my back would be pretty sore. So while driving the car, I felt the suspension was quite stiff and Here's some footage of me sitting in the passenger seat while the car was on the road. It's quite a bouncy and bumpy ride. So let me show you some of the footage of me and the driving experience. I feel like it's like a camera without a stabilizer. Every little bump on the road, you can feel it. But on the bright side, I have the premium model here, which is equipped with driver's assistance, which is really nice because it will automatically accelerate and brake, and you don't have to worry about that, especially during um, rush hour. Also, it stays in the middle of the lanes, and that's a uh, lesson. So whenever you hit the accelerator or the brake, you can hear the electric motor sound, which is quite loud. So even while you're driving, you can hear this car. And I think in general, it's a pretty loud car. And here's the reason why this car is so popular on social media right now and why I clicked on so many of those Yep videos. This screen on the back is great to put any of the pictures that you want to show to everyone on the road and so then the whole world can see. And I think this is quite creative. So the car that I have, I'm not sure why, but the system is not allowing me to link my own pictures and videos. But as you can see, it goes on a loop here and it's pretty cool. There's also a very interesting feature to this car that I'm not so sure about. So in the front of the car, there is space to have a mini fridge installed. So you can tell me in the comments if you find this feature useful. 